What is going on guys? It's Mitch here aka Royal Bacchus and today I got Better Call Saul Season 3 Episode 8. Uh, a lot is cooking right now. Bunch of stuff is kind of coming together, especially with Nacho. We'll get everything to get into everything that happened last episode. But before we do, if you want to drop a like and subscribe down below, we greatly appreciate it. Bringing you Saul every Monday and Thursday. I also got Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter in the links. Support me on Patreon. You guys get the unedited versions of these Better Call Saul videos. So no banners, no audio cuts, no nothing all the way through. And you get the content a couple days earlier than you would on YouTube. Okay, let's get into... Let's start off with something a little lighter, okay? Uh, let's start off with Saul. So for me, Saul is having a hard, rough time right now. He's trying to do this whole advertisement business. Doesn't seem to be kind of working out for him, in my opinion. Uh, I know sometimes at the beginning of a business, it's um, kind of a slow start. This seems like he is just a desperate man looking to make money, and it's just not working out for him. And it's actually really sad. I can't remember the girl's name, but the one that does the the boomstick, or maybe it's the other guy. Anyways, oh no, she does the makeup. Uh, the girl that does the makeup for him that uh, during his commercials, like heartbreaking scene when she goes up to him and like gives, tries to give her money back that he like he paid her for the work, and it's like she can see the shit that he's going through right now and that he is like not succeeding in this venture so he can keep his office space with Kim, right? So the stress and everything with Saul to me is actually kind of like you're seeing kind of another side, uh, like, like a little bit of a sad side to be honest, but you don't really see much of that. And then at the end of last episode, I, I, I'm i still confused on what kind of happened there. He went in trying to get his insurance taken off, but he couldn't. And then he kind of threw his brother under the bus at the same time. And he thought he was sad. And then all of a sudden at the end, he wasn't. And some of you guys are saying it's like half and half. It's like, how? I was trying to figure out the whole time what he was actually doing. And I couldn't figure it out. So like to me, it looks like he was trying to go in, get rid of his insurance. And was like playing the sad card. But maybe he kind of got sad at the same time after kind of like, all the shit that he's been going through. And then on top of that, at the end, he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to throw Chuck under the bus as well. That's kind of how I'm taking it right now. But it was an excellent ending because uh, literally you guys can watch the reaction. I had no idea what the hell was going on last episode at the end. And it, I, I still thought it was great. And it seems now that he screwed Chuck over. So that's even better. Um, also, last episode as well, we had kind of like a, a breaking point with Nacho. Now, this is where I'm getting a little more interested in this character because we've obviously had now, um, uh, Hector has said that he wants to use his father's business to bring in his product, right? And Nacho is completely against that. He's not in the game. And he says, like, just leave my dad alone. Hector is Hector. And he just says, nah, you're going to do it. And that's it. So Nacho, uh, his new idea is to, I guess, poison him with his heart medicine, right? So he uses these green-white pills for uh, his problem, for his heart problems, Hector, and he's going to try and switch him out. But then at the end of the episode, or end of their part of the episode, um, Mike was telling him, like, hey, just a heads up, you better do this right, because if you don't, this could be a lot worse than what you actually think it's going to be. And in my opinion, I think that's true. If Hector actually finds out that something's going on or he does it wrong and the cartel finds out, not only Nacho would be in danger, most likely his family would be too. So his father that he's trying to protect. So there's a lot of moving pieces in that. I have a funny feeling that obviously this isn't going to go smoothly. I have a funny feeling. And it just seems because I think Nacho isn't really looking at this in uh, like a a great perspective obviously he's extremely stressed and worried about his father and he needs to get this done as soon as possible because also the timeline of Hector telling him to do this is ticking so it's like I couldn't imagine being in that situation and having to do this all like right now because if I don't my father could end up being screwed so crazy episode a lot of stuff that they opened up and I have a funny feeling that this episode is going to kind of continue on with this stuff so yeah I'm gonna stop talking guys and let's get into it this one's called Slip. So I have a funny feeling that's gonna like be the slip with Nacho and Hector's medicine. Jeez, will you look at this? Oh, is this um, his father's store? That's where your mom used to work. Yeah, okay, holy crap. I think all those little Debbies put him out of business. <laughs> hey, how'd you get up you there did? when you were a kid? Ooh. Couple of milk crates, you know. Boom. Indian head penny. Oh, right. they're gonna That's use a scam. Three bucks, we polish it up, run the coin game. Work so hard. 
Yeah, they worked hard. They worked a lot of hours for a lot of years. Nothing. For nothing. I don't know, Jimmy. You know, a lot of customers, everybody liked them. There's two ways of thinking. His parents' ways and Jimmy's way. He's never going to wow. do what he had to do. Marco's kind of like, do you, do you not see what you're saying a little bit there? What are you doing? Okay. I'm sorry. Has anyone ever seen a shovel with a strap around it? I've never seen that before. People do this as hobbies and stuff like that too. Like go out to like the beach. Like I don't have the patience for that. To me, it's like fishing. Do we have the one or nay nay? Clearly, with this kind of improvement, it won't be long before I'm back to work full time with no accommodations. This is actually kind of cool. I want this cool. house to be full of music. I want to have a dinner party. Oh hell, no! A Great big shebang. celebration. Mm. You've just begun a journey that could take years. Well, Yo, I suppose, boy. but um, imagine being told that. You'd admit that every case is different. What made it so important to talk to me that night? It's just so interesting to me. Like, does like, is because the I pain isn't obviously incident. real, but he feels that it's real. It's just very interesting. What does that mean to you? That Jimmy saved you. This condition, if it's not real, then what have I done? That's sad. Remind me how much is all this gonna cost? Exactly. No, here we go. We talked about the other day. The first one was gratis. That's my treat. Now we're moving on to the elite pet place. Yeah. What? What's to oh stop us from God. paying the station to just keep running the one we have? That's not what we agreed to. How about that for starters? Oh, okay, okay. Wanna play and it like that? So the okay. ball starts $250 rolling. dollars is now off the table. Yeah, and that crew of yours? Yeah. It's just a bunch of UNM students. Oh. Excuse us. You knew where they were, they were dicks last episode. Hasn't changed. <laughs> Sorry about Sorry about that. Oh, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, yes, an ambulance. That's a good idea. <laughs> you guys have liability oh insurance, right? Well, grown up right. They, like him and to do. Uh, Jimmy have been well, separated, yeah, not separated in like an way. actual sense, but like they haven't been really. Well, I think Kim has in the show her. together, other than last episode when they were kind of having that weird moment in a restaurant. Well, sure, but I got to hey think. Hey there! Oh, I I you bastards! Howard, Kim, sit. I insist. Kevin, Howard, always a pleasure to see one of our proteges spread her wings. I don't like this. Those. I don't like this. Well, I'll get out of your hair. Best of luck to all of you. Kim, uh, hello again. Howard, sit. I insist. No! Sorry to interrupt. I just needed to <laughs> give Howard good. something. Marie Austin, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Boom. Good Shove to see it. all of you. Have a wonderful lunch, Howard. Oh, the eyes too. That was great. He's definitely gonna show up. While she... Yep, there it is. What the hell is this? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm doing damage control. And I'm doing it three meals a day for the past two weeks with every one of our clients. Oh, I'm no. busting my ass, trying to repair the reputation of the firm after you and Jimmy dragged it through the mud. And you leave and stab me in the back. That's my fault. I'm not cashing this. Damn, Kim, I haven't seen him like this your debt driven. Is forgiven. Oh, my God. Well, Howard, that's on you. We haven't seen Howard like this ever. Like, his composure has been broken. Mm, boy. Yellow bananas. Excuse me. Um, where would I find this? Soy milk? Uh, over there and to the left, just past the freezer aisle. Holy shit, he's actually getting this done. The white ceiling. Oh, Green buddy. Gray floor. Don't smash your head again. Okay. Hey. What is happening? And uh, lying on the floor helps you with your finger. He got all of that out. He won. I didn't notice when he was on the floor. I did not put two and two together. 
open it. That's my half. Damn. Good for the next six weeks. Jimmy, you... You don't have to push yourself like this. What are you talking about? All I'm saying is, I looked at the numbers and I can carry us. Not forever, but at least until you're back to 100%. I appreciate Damn. the thought, but no. Okay. It is such an odd relationship when you really think about it. Like, they just don't feel like they're in one. I mean, you believe me, right? Oh, buddy. No more AC. Oh, and it's him again after getting his ass whooped. Oh, there it is. Completely ignores him. At least, like, Gus has, like, a personality. Hector just pisses me off. He's just a grumpy old grouch. What? What are you doing? This one looks funny. Oh, no. I bet he's sweating not just from the heat, but from the panic and everything that's about to happen right here. Is he going to work? I'm so sorry, Don Hector. Oh my god! Uh... Oh my god, he only took it out, he didn't switch it back. He still has to do the other one? Oh, I guess that's totally right. He does have to make the switch. This is like so, they do so well with the intensity in this show. supposed to be on the phone. I know, I know, but she's sick. She called pneumonia at daycare. She's in the hospital. Please, can I go? Sounds like that's on you. That's awful. I'm just saying, the way you make yours rhymes with mug mealer. <laughs> what are you, <laughs> no, I'm the guy who's gonna get you out of here and let you keep your hours. I, you can do what you gotta do. Okay. Go pick up trash. Go on. What does he have in store for him? Oh, uh, boy. The hell's this? Resting. Uh, hurt my back. Hate to break it to you, smart guy, but you signed a waiver. I signed a waiver with the city. But I'm not suing the city. I'm suing you, personally. Oh, boy. What's he got to do with it? You knowingly prevented him from visiting his child in the hospital. If that isn't intentional infliction of emotional distress, what is? Wow. You're full of shit. The waiver clearly oh, states. That waiver's oh gonna make Swiss God. cheese look solid. And in a personal lawsuit, it's a fart in the wind. Or you're looking at eight to 12 months of litigation minimum. I'll oh my God. Side. Great, bring it on. You got a car? Get a house, a pension. The judge and I. Look at his face, completely <laughs> jaw drop. For you, it's expensive. It's very, very expensive. It's oh third mortgage, God. expensive. Fine. Damn! Jimmy just swindled. <laughs> that was awesome. Some shit on my shit right there. <laughs> here you go. I'm out. That actually worked. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sleeping on a pile of money. God, what is he doing with all this money? <sighs> Chill outside with it? That's not suspicious or anything like that. 
If anything happens to me, my family will never see it. Now, it seems to me you opened this place to solve a similar problem. Interesting. And... Oh, boy. Perhaps there is a way. One with a degree more difficulty. I would not take money from your family. Damn. He is such a weird guy, but he's so cool all at the same time. Oh, cool. So that was an ending and a half. Um, oh, That whole episode, there's so many like things happening. It happened the last two seasons where all of a sudden like all the storylines start like really ramping up at like the last three episodes of the season. So right now, Jimmy is just kind of on his way to getting back to being a lawyer, I guess we could say. I don't really know. Like it's just he literally ended the episode with him lying on a stack of money. Um, on top of that as well, Mike and Gus are seemingly going to start doing business together. And on top of this, Hector now has the uh, problematic pills, we'll call them. That was an, a, a great intense scene with Nacho and him. I thought that was excellently done. And it, like the best part is, is like, yes, it's hot and everything inside the restaurant because of what he did. But also on top of that, the reason why he's sweating as well is because how intense and scary this situation is. Literally, as he put it into the pocket, he's like shaking with the uh, the espresso cup going towards the... Oh, it was just excellent. Another good episode, guys. Uh, before I leave, if you want to drop a like and subscribe down below, we greatly appreciate it. Bringing this all every Monday and Thursday. Also, got Patreon, Instagram, Twitter in the links. Until next time, guys. See you later.